Welcome in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today we are going to be making this beautiful, delicious, cheesy enchiladas. So in my pot over there, I'm using two tablespoons of vegetable oil and two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of oregano, dried oregano. If you have onion powder, you can use and two tablespoons of Spanish paprika. This is not hot, so please do not substitute this with red chili powder because it's going to be really, really hot. And uh, please note that this is not an original enchilada sauce, but right now I'm in the lockdown in Middle East and I do not have the right ingredients, but we've been craving for enchiladas. So just going to saute this on medium heat. And then I added one tablespoon of um, tomato paste. You can use tomato sauce if you have about three tablespoons. And we're just going to keep sauteing until you get all those beautiful aromas from the spices. And I, add, I used a chicken stock, which is about two cups. You can use vegetable stock. If you're not, then you'll have to use water. All right, so I'm just going to stir this to remove the lumps and I actually like to use the whisk at this point make sure all the lumps are removed and um, yeah so my heat is on uh, medium low I'm trying to cook this so that all the spices are well cooked uh, add a little bit of salt to taste and then just mix well and then um, just gonna bring it to a boil once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes. I added a little bit of uh, liquid. So total you can go two and a half cups to three cups of liquid. And uh, we're just going to simmer it for 20 to 25 minutes to make sure that all those spices are well cooked and the flour is also cooked. We don't want to eat raw spices. All right. So now to the second step. I am just using about a tablespoon of uh, vegetable oil. I'm going to caramelize the onions. This is um, not necessary, but I just wanted to have caramelized onions with chicken. That's all I was craving. All right, so if you don't wanna caramelize your onions, you don't have to. And this is going to be on medium and we're gonna keep um, sauteing and stirring uh, to make sure that the onions are not burnt, nor are they browned on one side they have to be uh, uniform all right and uh, so that's it just gonna keep doing that it's a long process but it's worth it and then after that i used uh, chick i used pre-cooked chicken this is a chicken that i had boiled for something else but uh, i decided to use it today you can use a rotisserie chicken if you want uh, the chicken was already seasoned so I'm not going to use much seasoning for this uh, for this uh, dish today. All right, so I'm just going to mix it well. And I used a little bit of uh, paprika and uh, cumin powder. And you can fill your enchiladas with uh, whatever you want. All right, so now we are ready to get this baby going on. So I just added some um, oil there. I'm using vegetable oil in my dish, the Pyrex dish. And uh, I think it's a 13 by nine. And then I just pour the enchilada sauce. And then we're gonna fill them up. So these are the tortillas I have already shared a video on how to make these tortillas so i'll put the link in the description box below if you have not made these tortillas then something that you need to look into so i just put a little sauce and then i fill them up with my chicken and you're just gonna fill now the tortillas normally we use corn tortillas for this but like i said i don't have corn tortillas i don't have corn to make tortillas all right so after that is done we've put up i think about eight we're gonna pour the sauce on the top please make sure your oven is ready mine is ready 
375 Fahrenheit, which is 190 degrees Celsius. Just put all the sauce. Now, I normally don't use uh, flour tortillas for this, so that's why I'm not using a lot of sauce because I don't want it to be soggy. All right, and then we're gonna add some cheese. I'm using mozzarella cheese and a little bit of cheddar. It's not a little bit, that was about half a cup, I think so. Uh, we love cheesy quesadillas. All right, so once that's done, just gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes until all your cheese is nice and bubbly. As you can see, we're just gonna sprinkle some cilantro on the top and we are ready to serve. Now you can serve this with anything you want. I've got uh, a video on how I do my condiments that I use for, for you know, this kind of food. I will put that in the description box below. I served this with salsa and some kidney beans. So thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Aroma of Zanzibar. You'll find all the ingredients and the measurements in the description box below and on this very last page. Thank you.